Good afternoon. You find me in my back garden on a really beautiful sunny afternoon and it makes the, the difficulties around quarantines and lockdown all the more bearable when at least the weather is good and you're able to get out of the house. My name is Connor Shields. I'm Chief Exec of Community Arts Partnership and I've been asked to basically give you a sense of what I'm enjoying uh, culturally while in lockdown. And this is coming on, we've, my daughter's entered her fifth week of lockdown actually. Um, and my wife and I are in quarantine with her for the past almost four weeks. So um, yeah, starting to get a little stir crazy. But what basically is keeping us going, um, apart from ourselves, is watching um, various bits and pieces on the TV, catching up with reading, um, and listening to good music as ever. So in terms of reading, um, great opportunity to catch up on books that I've, I've maybe bought and let sit. Um, I'm thinking of Vogue by Owen McNamee, um, a man with Kilkeel connections as well. It's a startling uh, book of politics and crime and uh, it's really beautiful. Um, I've, I'm looking forward to seeing Linda McKenna's uh, new anthology um, which is out on Derry Press. Um, Linda, of course, won the Seamus Heaney Award for New Writing last year, and the winner of this year's Seamus Heaney Award will be announced on the 13th of April uh, online, given everything that's going on. Um, Frank Ormsby's uh, barrel, uh, the water barrel, rather, uh, is never, never far from hand. Um, as indeed I've been catching up on, on a lot of old Heaney stuff, um, Paul Durkin, uh, so yeah, poetry is fantastic. Um, in terms of TV viewing, um, believe it or not, we've just finished Line of Duty, <laughs> which has been going for years, I know, but we never got round to watching it and my wife and I have enjoyed it. Um, me in particular, uh, pointing out to her all the places around Belfast where it's been shot, so you know, there's um, underneath, that's the tunnel under the waterfront hall, or that's the subway at the top of High Street, or um, that's uh, wherever it might be, a suburb or a, or a view from somewhere. So that's been good fun. Um, we've. I love Better Call Saul. Um, I think it's a superb, superb uh, piece. And for it to be a prequel uh, to Breaking Bad, I think it's actually surpassed Breaking Bad. Um, I'm looking forward to the Kaminsky Method. Um, I think I've got it lined up for my next one. It comes from half of the writing partnership of um, uh, Big Bang Theory, um, which of course is a really funny show, um, and by all accounts Kaminsky is, is really good too. Um, but just finding time, um, we have a little one here as well, a six year old, um, so finding time to sit down and watch stuff. I think we watch one movie, um, we've basically just been taking bite sizes of series. And in terms of listening, um, relying on all the music that uh, I know and love at these insecure times, it's great to be able to draw on the stuff that you've always enjoyed. Um, looking forward to a few new things, of course. Um, Bob Dylan's new single, if you, if you still call them singles, uh, is it's an instant classic. Um, it's long, 
it's filled with messages and I think it's it's obviously timely when one thinks of the the current president of the USA and his his and Dylan's lament for um, an ex-president of the USA um, so yeah listen to it if you haven't already there's some new releases recent releases my old friend Dr. Jazz Lindley Hamilton has um, an album out making other arrangements it's really lovely beautifully played um, stuff there that you'll know stuff that you won't but executed in a, in a very particular way and Lindley's signature um, trumpet and flugel just lovely good man Lindley um, Pat Dan Smith has an album out Pat lyrical intense uh, really fantastic stuff um, and great to see him uh, re-emerge again I haven't heard or seen anything from him for ages um, Matt McGinn has some terrific stuff out as well um, you know there's there's a lot of local talent there um, I of course will be I'm thinking of I'm listening to Jackson Brown and I'm thinking of him he's currently um, he has coronavirus and indeed John Prine I heard that he went into hospital I haven't heard if he's uh, where his recovery is um, unfortunately he won't be the last of the celebrated uh, songwriters that we all know and love um, and in terms of visual arts it's really difficult of course you can just spend hours looking on the, the web and what I would say is that uh, gallery 454 or is it 545 one's in LA and the other is here in Belfast and it's run by Francesca Biondi and uh, there's lots of fantastic images, great new art coming from uh, local talent and of course Artisan um, run by Ken and Anne has, uh, he's been making it really accessible for you online as well so there's plenty of stuff to look at. And just before I go I would say one thing to, um, especially to artists and creatives out there, that don't be putting too much pressure on yourself to be artistic or creative because um, there is so much else going on and if you don't feel the uh, creativity is there um, don't be upset because um, I think now is a time for um, making yourself secure if you can and, and uh, I think our, our older brains are trying to, to deal with the, the constant threat from COVID-19 and if you're in that sense of heightened threat, it's really hard to find a creative space um, to, think, to think in your normal creative rhythms. So perhaps give yourself a, a, a break, let yourself get used to this new way of, of living and um, stay well, stay healthy and stay creative if you can and uh, all the very best. Bye bye.